some big mullet. <laughs> They're right in front. Man. That's a lot of mullet out here now. Like since the tide came in. A whole bunch of mullet came. There's like hardly hardly any of them and now there's needlefish out here too. Yeah, they're mullet. They're mullet? mullet? Yep. Look at them all. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Over there, look at them all. Some big ones. Oh yeah, I remember the guy told us that was a mullet actually. <laughs> um, Amelie, don't jump on there, honey. He's fishing. You don't want to shake the bird. That's not what you're trying to catch though? Nah, those are you, if you were going to catch them, it's easier to catch them in a cast net. I mean, you can catch them on a hook, but they're more of a vegetarian fish, so they eat oh, only I vegetarian stuff, sure. like algae and stuff like that. Yeah, but you can catch them on like corn, like little corn you can buy in like the cans and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So it's rare, but yeah, there's some people that have caught them on like cane poles. So they're like carpet holes. Yeah. Probably something like that. But people love to eat them though. They're they're best like smoked. Really? Yeah, I've 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 cooked them before. They're not real good fried and they're not good as far as I as far as I know, at least the way I cooked it in butter, it uh the meat turned more into like uh a fall off the bone type thing and it was more it was more of like a mushy like crab meat. Huh. It tasted like crab to me, I mean, but it was just, it was a little bit weird having a, a fish that I was eating that tasted like, like crab, like a, like a uh, blue crab mm. and butter, because if you've ever had blue crab or any type of crab legs and butter before, yeah. it has that, to me it had that taste and it just was like a little weird because I normally eat my fish fried, but I was yeah. trying different ways of cooking it. I don't have a smoker, so I couldn't smoke them, but yeah, yeah a lot of people smoke them and, and they're really, they're really good that way. Mm. You see all the fish on the top? Yeah, those are those are needle fish. Neat. We don't have any of these fish at home. So. I can say needle fish. Needle fish. Yeah, pretty cool. What are you trying to catch then? I'm pretty sure that it took my bait, but what's under here are known as snook. Snook. Yeah, they're they're a pretty popular um, game fish. They're currently out of season right now. But they're still fun fun to catch because of the fact that they give one heck of a bite. Sure. So a little uh, one about that size of those fish right there <laughs> is is enough to give a heavy pole like this a good bend. And so yeah, they are they are a, uh, a fun fish to catch though. Well, thank you for the lesson. Oh, it dropped down there. Well, now we know, guys. We learned some stuff today. You want to look over here and we'll go back. It's unbelievable how many mullet are out here right now. That's so crazy. I'm definitely gonna probably end up throwing the cast net though. I thought I was, I was gonna try to go for for a snick under here, but I'm kind of thinking I might try to throw the net. I hope I don't uh, get the net stuck under here for all these like mullet that are under here. It's like right out here in the front. And it's like all over out there in the front. And the tide's coming in too. So the worst part is, is my last my last cast net got stuck on a culvert piece like this right here. Uh, when I threw it. <laughs> I threw it kind of like this way and there was some mullet that were on this side last time I was out on a different area and my net uh, ended up getting like the lead lines got wrapped around the cement wall right there 
and ended up catching a snook in it. So, but there's a ton of mullet right here right now. It's crazy. They're just spawning right now. And they're all, they're all like out there too. Hey, it's so many mullet. That's insane.